All right, all right, all right. What's up, anybody and everybody that's listening? This is the N Lopez podcast, and it is the double N rant two. As you have not guessed, because, you know, this is a fairly new podcast. I'm here with my homie, Nicholas Valenzuela. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well since last time. Yep, last time we covered a bunch of various topics from uh, Hitler, his art becoming famous, (laughs) to... um, being a dad that only, um, being a dad that trains your kids to fight, and that's like your main purpose in life is just to <laughs> train your kids to fight. And then uh, we talked about some other shit. And if you didn't listen to that podcast, you might want to fucking go back and listen to it because we're gonna talk and ramble and rant about some other shit today. You know, um, I've been uh, been thinking about that Hitler and the paintings. What about it? I don't know, I just felt like it was a very unnecessary thing to talk about at one point. Yeah, it definitely uh, was pretty fucking weird conversation <laughs> to have, but uh, we had it, and that was that. Well, it's just like, why would they have something like that still going around when you're not even supposed to like glorify anything? It's just a piece of history, man. People want to people want to collect pieces of history. What's a similar piece of history that's like that? That's like built on like the bloodshed of the people. Um, fucking <laughs> the Christianity. The I don't fucking know Christianity. Yeah, I guess <laughs> that was founded on on bloodshed. <laughs> um, I don't fucking know the pyramids. The yeah, the pyramids. Hell oh, yeah, the pyramids. That's true. Um, what else? Probably a bunch of other man-made the fucking pyramids all over the world. The Aztec pyramids, too. Those are built for, like, worship and sacrifice. But yeah, but do you think slaves made them? Uh, maybe not in the Aztec. Yeah, I think they... Uh, not not entirely. I don't think the Aztecs... I'm not sure. I don't have any fucking actual knowledge of this, but... From what I'm going to assume is um, that they would uh, get in tribal wars, I'm assuming, and then the the tribes that actually, or the civilization that built these pyramids used the slaves, or the prisoners that they caught from other tribes, I think. That's a possibility. Yeah. But nothing's like the Egyptians. I mean, like... Well... How could you do something for that long and then barely come out of it? And then, like, everyone still thinks it's aliens. Do you believe it's aliens? No, I don't believe no, it's aliens. No, you believe it's all man-made? I believe it's all man-made. I mean, that was just years and years of just dying slaves. And they got out of it eventually. But it was just all built on them. Who really did the work? Not the Egyptians. Yeah, they planned it all out. They were like, they had to go get the slaves, man. How <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's not good. No, it's not. No. Slavery never was. was never good. <laughs> it will never be good. I, uh, no the one... American way fought for the amendments to no. get that changed. No one should own a person. <laughs> no one that's why whenever uh, I have kids I'm just gonna let them be their own people they gotta raise themselves they're gonna have to feed themselves <laughs> what do you and, mean yeah I'm gonna be like hey man this is you, so, came, you came in you chose to come into this world little guy and now you're gonna just uh, so he's not gonna be your slave no, I'm not gonna make him clean up anything. He's just gonna he's just gonna have to fend for himself and be like, Hey man, yeah, me and your mom got some food over here, but I mean, you know, where are you at, bro? You could ask for some food, maybe I'll give it to you. Maybe the world's not that nice. 
You're a terrible father. Yeah. You think if you were to have a kid, you think he'd like you? No, my kid would probably hate me because I would always be trying to <laughs> spit this knowledge that I think I have at it. <laughs> but wait, but like, what kind of knowledge are you like? Are you giving your kids I would, self-esteem, or are you like? Yeah, I would try and tell my kid. I would try and make my kid see the real way things work instead of fantasizing all these other things about it. Like, you know, I would try and be statist- as statistical as possible, you know? Um, just be like... Tell your kid to be a plumber. Be like, hey, man, it's good work. <laughs> everybody pu- everybody shits. So, I mean, you'll, ne- you'll never be out of a job. <laughs> I invested a thousand dollars in the in uh, Arizona plumbing, <laughs> the Arizona plumbers uh, plumbers crack foundation, <laughs> and then I did some cement uh, cement work for some cement companies, uh, filling plumbers cracks. Did you ever have to do any work like that as a kid? What? Like filling cement shit? Um, no, I had to put shingles on a roof one time. That's about it. Well, my parents did a lot. Uh, whenever uh, my parents lived at their other house, mm-hmm. they did a lot of um, like projects and renovations and stuff. So they like retiled the whole fucking house except for certain rooms and stuff. And uh, they painted everything, added all kinds of shit. They they made that bar. You know, they used to have. Mm-hmm. They fucking cut that out of the wall. Okay. So they fucking just carved into that part of the living room and or the kitchen kitchen wall and then they redid all the counters and shit like that and that was that dude and then you have only with that i i helped with the shingling i remember uh we extended our um we built that patio mm-hmm. out there and like the little the part of the roof we i helped build that and shit okay. nothing like super crazy though see my grandpa that our patio we would have to get the dirt to level it out and then he would make the cement, and we always had to help him with stuff with cement, especially for anything, even if it was just like put into a spot for a little while. It'd usually get dug out because of the rain. Yeah. But what did know. what did what did your what did he build? Just a patio floor. Just a floor. Yeah, for cement and everything. You oh yeah, the hard yeah, floor, so you're not just walking on dirt. Yeah, where all those seats are at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Perfect. Place. Yeah, it's pretty I've cool. Helped, so, um, you know, I've, I've helped built that house. I am a co-founder of that you're, house. You're a co-founder of that house. That's uh, that's cool. Uh, you got where's your deed? You got a deed? You got your deed to the um, house? Well, the only like work I really did for the house was just like, you know, when he wanted me to fill in a hole. He's like, I, he was still building dig- it. You're a ditch digger. You were a slave. <laughs> he, you were his. Uh, you were his little prisoner worker. <laughs> You're wearing your orange jumpsuit and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I know the meaning of hard work. Then, yeah, I think uh, I think we should all should all know the meaning of hard work. We should find or you should find a relative, know if they're building anything, especially a house, and help them build the house. Yeah, go. And you'll realize that you're a piece of shit <laughs> who can't build a house. Everybody's buying houses nowadays. People just need to go start building houses. <laughs> You know, go build your fucking houses, bro. You think, um, because all Amish people are uh, carpenters, right? I think, well. Like something like that. You I think, imagine they raise barns and shit like that. You think, like, That's like they, they all know the basic knowledge of how to build, like, some type of, like, shack or something? I would you know, hope so. Right? You know, like, well, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why I would hope so, but I mean... <laughs> Well, well, they're carpenters, so they would. Uh, have is to... that what the Amish are? Because I'm not. Yeah, because sure. they build like mostly I, with wood. Yeah, I thought they were. I thought they were just people that just believe in doing things the old fashioned way. Well, there's yeah, they do believe in that, but there's society, you know. So. Um, well, of course they got to build buildings. That's why it's called the Amish country. Because they built that country themselves. <laughs> they're Germans. They're Germans. Yeah, they came from Germany. The Amish. <laughs> That sounds pretty right, you know. I can see that. Don't quote me on that, but well, it's I'm uh, pretty sure it's, it's recorded. It's east. So it's east, East Germany. 
No, it's just in the east. Oh, like more in the east of the United States? <laughs> no, not more in the east of the United States. More the eastern countries. So like... Uh, like like England, and like Polish like or something. Israel and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where would you go? Where would I go? Yeah, where would you go? If I was Amish? <laughs> <laughs> no, anywhere in the country, where would you go? If I could go anywhere in this country, I would go to... Jupiter. Just kidding. I would... I don't know. If I could go anywhere here. I want to go to New York just to see what that's all about. I want to see what it's like to be in a fucking mass city. Like, the the like the like closest I've been to being in a mass city so far is probably, like, Seattle. <laughs> and, like, Seattle's cool as fuck, but I want to go be where, like, buildings are super wanna... fucking high in the sky and there's too many. And everybody's like, yeah, I had to walk up, like... Uh, <laughs> Like 30 <laughs> flights of stairs to get to my uh, studio apartment that has the toilet right next to my fucking bedroom. I pay, <laughs> I pay 1050 a month, um, no utilities included, and I had to put down my animal because they didn't allow animals. And it's New York, so, you know, if you let them go, they're going to get put down or get hit by a car or someone's going to take them and give them a better life. And I couldn't have that for my animal. See, that's... Not something I want to do. I don't want to live like that. I would just like to go see that. I just, yeah. I've well, never, I've never been to New York, so you told Torvis. If anyone's listening from New York for some fucking reason, um, then tell me what it's like to live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope they're giving the description you had um, provided. I hope I don't. I hope. I hope I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. What do you mean? I don't know. I mean... You wouldn't want that for anyone? Well, I, I would hope it'd be better than that. <laughs> it might be that shitty. No, it probably is that shitty for some people. It might be worse. You know, doesn't New York also have the projects? I've never you been know? to New York, bro. I don't... Yeah, but like... I don't look up New York trends and... Neighborhoods and stuff. Well, you don't think it's dangerous over there? I mean, I'm pretty sure, dude. If Kevin McAllister could get lost in New York and make his way around, though, well, I think who's I, that? Kevin McAllister yeah. from Home Alone Two, Lost in New York, Macaulay <laughs> Culkin's character. Oh shit! Yeah, no. he made it in New York, and he was only a kid. <laughs> he saw Donald Trump, and Donald Trump gave him the right direction. Told him where to go. Really? Donald Trump is in that movie. Yes. And I wonder. What he's doing right now. What, Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. Probably um, sitting back in the Oval Office, just watching Sports Center. <laughs> you know, I, uh, you know, I, uh, I got, uh, Dude, I got some people, I, I got some people on the inside that say, uh, you know, the old president, he's a, he's a big, uh, Sports Center fan. <laughs> he likes, uh, he likes watching, uh, the World Poker Tournament. He, uh, that's where he learns all his strategies for poker faces. He's not bluffing, you know, with all this, uh, with all his free time on his, on his little hands, he's got, uh, I don't know, he's just got time to watch poker, I guess. <laughs> you know, that's just, the, you know, my inside source is telling me that stuff, you know, I'm, I'm affiliated with a lot of dangerous people. <laughs> <laughs> for everybody that doesn't know who I am, I'm pretty fucking crazy guy if you get to know me and if you get to know the people I run with well holy shit you've gotten yourself into quite some circle quite some circle that I'm fucking gonna keep circling around I don't know I don't know these are these are rants and ramblings of two fucking idiots oh, that was a fucking rambling bro <laughs> that was literally ridiculous that's not ridiculous bro that's real I have people on the <laughs> inside I have infiltrators <laughs> You're crazy. It, You're crazy. Yeah, you I know. know what? I think you do. I think I do too. <laughs> do you think um what do you know? What do I know? Yeah. I don't what? know shit about anything. <laughs> That's why What conspiracy do you believe in then? What conspiracies do, do I you believe? Have in? a conspiracy that you believe? Um, I believe that I'm already dead. I believe I died a long time ago. <laughs> 
And I'm just kind of reliving my whole life. So, you know, it's probably not even 2019 anymore. I'm dead. I've been dead for, like, centuries, bro. 2019 was, like, 2019 years ago. You know what? And you're just a fig, you're just a uh, fig Newton of my imagination. <laughs> you're crazy. Yeah, uh, the doctor didn't tell me that, but uh, they did stop prescribing me a sane medication. They were just like, okay, this guy's going to the cuckoo bin. He's a cuckoo head. No, you'll be, you'll be just fine. You think? Uh... In this day and age. You know, I'm kind of like the opposite of that. I'm like more of like a Professor Xavier type. So if well, I get old, what you can I read people's minds. No, if I get dementia, and I get old. I'm just gonna kill everyone around me. I'm gonna give them headaches and shit. You're, you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me whenever you're an old man, you're just gonna. Your main objective as an old man is gonna be to kill people mentally with <laughs> no, using your mind no that's what's gonna happen to me because of my sickness oh so you're you're gonna have this strange sickness where you can start like entering people's minds no 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 have you ever seen logan oh, oh no okay so you're talking about like that so you're just gonna like start fucking freaking out the space-time continuum or whatever <laughs> dude have you seen logan yes okay once dude, you know professor x yes professor x Javier. He, he ha- <laughs> <laughs> they are in Mexico. Yeah, and then there's that one white... There's, there's that one gringo. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, just listen. He has dementia. Yeah. He's okay. an old man. Yeah, you remember that, right? Of course. So, so he starts choking people with his mind. I think his mind... Yeah, his mind's just going crazy. Yeah, that's me. You get- I'm the opposite of you, and that's what the opposite of you is. <laughs> Professor Xavier going crazy with dementia, but like hurting other people's bodies. Do you think? Uh, how do you think you'll be whenever you're an well, old man? Mind. You're gonna. You think you're gonna be a powerful old man? <laughs> you, I'll only get more powerful. I think you're gonna. I think you'll be some like super scrawny old man. With well, superpowers, right? I hope. <laughs> he fell into a bat of radioactive <laughs> chewing gum. I got bit by a radioactive Superman. He was bit by a radioactive pelican. He became the pelican. <laughs> uh, is there any superhero with um with uh with bird with bird appendages? Like they can't like their super power is to fly. They have. And it's like a human. They actually have bird-like appendages. Well, is there any uh, like, like instead instead of arms. <laughs> yeah. um, no, because you know Archangel from X Men has wings. Yeah, but like, why haven't they made the the Birdman? You know? I'm sure they have somewhere. Somewhere there's some fucked up superhero <laughs> that. Or super, or just bird, character like, who's, who's only got like fucking bird body, like, but like bottom torso of a human. Yeah, Rick and Morty came close with. With Birdman, but yeah, but he has wings. Exactly. But I'm talking about bird-like appendages, like kind of like a bat, but like total. But bird. a bird. A bird. On a human body. Mm-hmm. Like what else though? <laughs> just the regular just, arms. Just, just, just so he's bird. just got he's just got he bird. Ar- what does bird he have? Bird appendages. arms? Does he have yeah. bird feet? No, no, he only has bird arms. Bird arms. <laughs> his, that's his name. His name is Bird Arms. <laughs> Good old bird arms coming to you in a comic book store near you in Wichita Falls, New Guinea. I don't even know if that's not a place. That might be a real place. If you're from Wichita Falls, New Guinea, <laughs> send us your email address at skankskankskank.g.smokemore.com. This is all nonsense, ramblings, and ravings and cravings. We are not farmers. Dun, 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 dun. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, bro. We're gonna we're gonna take over the world. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. slowly but surely. How are you gonna take over the world? 
was these nonsense podcasts, Dude. and these are just going to make people stupid. My words are going to start creating mini Death Stars that are going to go attack people. <laughs> mini Death Stars? Yeah, because my words are going to be so constructed and so precise that I'll be able to like but they're gonna voice have... out these mini Death Stars and they'll start attacking people. They're going to have one flaw, though. What? They're going to have one little hole in it <laughs> somewhere, and if someone is accurate enough, they'll puncture that hole and free themselves from your stupid ass mini Death Stars. <laughs> But it can, but each one can take out a person. Well, yeah. If, and if, how, if, how many times can I talk in a day? I don't know, man. Like a thousand worth of Death Stars, mini Death Stars. Well, yeah, but I imagine you'd have to be composing those Death Stars the whole fucking time. Yeah, of course. So what are you? What are you saying? You're gonna just be talking Once a lot. Once they go out, they're they're not they're none of my concern anymore. They're you know if they die, then they die. You're telling me your words kill people. <laughs> yeah. That's bullshit. I call bullshit. Dude, come on. The, no. See, why can't that be a superpower? What? Creating creating uh, fucking... Powers through your mouth. That sounds... That sounds <laughs> stupid. Well, there's Vomit Man. Yeah, Vomit Man. He's projecting something. Yeah, but like, you're, imagine you, talking. What, what are you... You're like a composer. <laughs> so you, what you're saying is you're pretty much just... You're only guilty by association of these things. You're not directly killing people. These are just things of your your creation going and killing things. You're, what well, you're they saying, don't have to be, but my intention is to take over the world and yeah, kind of like destroy people. Destroy people. Yeah. What are you, a lizard man? <laughs> well, if I just destroy the bad people. Well, who's the judge? <laughs> Who's the judge, judge jury? Dredd. Who's the judge, jury, and executioner? Of course, Judge Dredd, dude. Robocop. Robocop. Didn't, wasn't there a flaw in that? The yeah, he was human. That was his flaw, but he, he, that no, that was his. I think that was his. Like um, that's what saved him at the end because he was still human versus these robots that were cold and lifeless and um, like wouldn't. Um, yeah, he was like he broke programming. Yeah, something like that. I haven't watched Dude, that's a fucking torture. <laughs> I don't fucking... I think about RoboCop and I don't appreciate it because that's just like... That's the worst thing you can do to someone. What, make them a machine? Yes. Yeah. You I mean... You can't even... I like, mean, like, imagine the people that are, like, stuck in comas, man. you know, just living off of <laughs> machines. And you don't know if they're ever going to wake up. Do you think they want to be dead or do you think they still want to be alive? Uh, like... If they're if they're vegetables and they have no brain function, then probably. So like it, you have no brain function. Exactly. So you know you don't think you're dreaming, right? No. What do you think? It's just black. It's probably black as fuck. That's terrifying. It's probably like I think if I ever you can't even hear because of how brain dead you are. You know you can't even see. That's what do you think you're experiencing? Do you think you're experiencing nothing in that moment? Like it's probably like a purgatory in your mind. I imagine, but like, if you don't have any, um, if you don't have any brain function, do you do you think you know? There's probably if you're dreaming, there's your brain's probably functioning some sort. Well, there's we, probably some some source of brain function. Yeah. So complete brain dead. I can't. Well, they keep you alive with machines. They're not so much as keeping. You know, they're keeping like blood flowing and through your brain, but that's about they, it. I, know, yeah, I think they're like, just preserving your body at that point. Exactly. But. I wouldn't want to be put through that. No, me neither. I would never want to be a vegetable. But, you know, with comas, people always talk about how they're, like, dreaming in comas. Exactly. And then there's those people who can hear everything when they're in comas. You know? Right. That must be scary. I don't like you, man. I never liked you. My nurse was my nurse was always touching my toes. <laughs> I never liked it. I could feel it. I was astral planing the whole time. Oh, dude, that would be amazing. There was a movie about that. It was called Awake. Really? Uh, it, it was like... Was uh, a person in a coma? So, check this out. This was the whole movie premise. Um, it was Hayden Christensen. No. Oh. So, yeah, and little Annie. Mm. Um, <laughs> fucking Jessica Alba was in it. And um, I don't know who the other person was. There was another, like, third lead. Um, but... So, Hayden Christensen was a guy that was about to get open heart surgery and get a heart. He was going to get a transplant of some sort, I think, or a heart surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, Jessica Alba was his girlfriend, and like it turns out that they were going to harvest his organs and stuff and just leave him for dead. 
And um, he's like astral planing during the whole thing. And he's like finding out that this is all happening. They're trying to fuck him over. And I think he somehow, some way, by the divine grace of whatever the fuck, the like, <laughs> he, uh, he finds his way to fucking, like, he somehow some, notifies someone, I think. And uh, he gets saved somehow. He saves himself. Well, were they tripping? No, he, he. I don't fucking know. Well, he's astral planning. How could they see him? No, it, it's not that they see him. I think he like does something, like maybe knocks something over, or he shorts something, or causes something to happen. You know, I don't what know. I watched that movie like probably two thousand. That movie sounds nine at the latest. It sounds as terrible as it's acting. You know what? What? Well, you know, it's a good hating Christian movie. What? Jumper. Yeah, I do like that one. That one was dope. It was cool. It has its moments. It has oh. fucking Samuel L. Jackson in it. Yeah, Samuel L. Jackson's cool. I get it. Snakes on a Plane. We all know about it. Never watched Snakes on a Plane. <laughs> You've never seen Snakes on a Plane? Dude, Samuel L. Jackson. Never had the desire to watch that movie. <laughs> well, one day, you're, you're going to have to get curious. It's going to be a classic... It's like the room. How about but not that? Could be that could be a movie that we put on uh, whenever we start doing this. It's as stupid as the room. We can that can be a movie that we use whenever we start movie review podcasts. But is the room really that stupid? I've never fully watched. It. I started watching the beginning, and I don't know because now I have this idea after all after all this time and after all this talk of it without watching it that it's a great movie, and I'm gonna probably watch it with that kind of. Uh, with that floating around in my head, probably. Exactly. It's like, that's how they gave it off the whole time. But it's a terrible movie. Production-wise, it's probably... The pr- story's fucking terrible. You know, I that, I guess that's what... I, I, I've never... I watched the beginning of it, and the acting is very amateur. Sometimes Adult Sim would play it. Would they? Like, yeah, and I would watch Damn. it. Damn. I didn't even know while I was watching. I was just like, man, it's yeah, they- so boring. I remember seeing the scene when the kid comes in and then yeah, they and they're like laying on the bed. Yeah, and then yeah, they they're like yeah, they're like rolling around. around. That's that's like at the very beginning yeah. of the movie. Yeah, that's that's like as much as I watched of it. Dude, it was awful. And like you just keep going, and then it gets to that part where he's like he gets in that fight with that guy, and it looks like he's gonna push him off somewhere. Oh. It's all shitty. I uh, I guess the loft plays it like a good amount, and then um, the guy, um, not um, Tommy Wiseau, but um, Greg something, that guy, um, mm-hmm. that guy has made a couple appearances at the loft because they um, I, they made another movie. It was called like uh, yeah. Best Friends, yeah, best and then um, I think whenever that came out, um, uh, what, what his name is Greg, I think. Um, I think he went out. Yeah, he was at the loft and they they talked. I think he talked whenever they were there. I don't know though. I need to I need to start going there more. I know you go there a lot. Yeah, I go there a few times. Do you ever buy beers when you go there? No, I don't. Why not? Nah, probably. Cause I, you just, ju- I don't usually feel like drinking. I don't even buy popcorn or anything. No, you just feel like going and watching a movie. Yeah, I just go watch the movie. It's really nice in there, honestly. Like the and the screen's huge. Yeah, it's got like I think it's got like one of the biggest screens in yeah. in like southern Arizona. Yeah, it's the biggest screen I've ever seen. Um, Henry met Molly or whatever. Oh, when Harry met Sally. Yeah, when Harry met Sally. So like, you watched that movie there? Yeah, and it looks so good. And I guess it was on the original, um, um you know, uh, tape. Oh, nice. Yeah, so when that, they first played it, see, so, that's, when it, so it looked like vintage when it was so... See, that's what I appreciate about that place is they fucking... Yeah. They love movies over there. They probably have to... They probably get movies and then play them for that day and then like switch them out. Or either they have a collection and they decide when they play these movies. Well, they don't play them often. Because well, they're going to get old. Exactly. They play them around certain times, yeah, you know. Exactly. Um, they're going to be screening Get Out soon. And I kind of, I kind of want to go watch that again because that movie was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, that screen's amazing. I remember whenever I went and watched that the first time, I was like, "Oh, that movie was awesome." I want to see Us. Us looks crazy. Oh my god, it looks! I can't imagine how it's gonna end. It looks so bizarre. You know, I'm glad they that the the guy that's taking the lead. You know, from uh, you ever watch Black Panther? Yeah. Um, he's the guy that plays like that ape king. Yeah. 
And I actually like whenever I watched Black Panther, I liked that guy as an actor. I was like, Oh, that guy's in the movie. Yeah, that that's guy's the, that's the main character. I think oh, he's shit. he's like one of the main guys. Yeah, he's, he's like the, the, the dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. So um, I I remember watching I remember watching uh, Black Panther and I was like, I really like this guy. Like I, you know, I think he's a good actor. Yeah. And so you know, I hope this movie does exceptionally it does justice for him. Yeah, you know, it looks very bizarre movie. Like I can't imagine what's gonna happen. Yeah. I, How do you make movies like this? I don't know. And then uh, he's going to be doing the re, the the 2010s Twilight Zone. I think it's more 2020s Twilight Zone. Even so though. what happens at the end of uh, 20,000 feet? Um, Does he open I don't plane? exactly remember what happens. I think he gets... Um, I don't know if he... I think he might, he might break the air seal. Um... But something happens. They end up grounding the flight, and they um, they take William Shatner's character out of the um, out of the plane on a stretcher, and he's just freaking out. And they pretty much claim him insane because so. But isn't there a mark on the plane? Yeah, there's like uh, it passes by, and there's like slash marks and stuff on the plane. Yeah, and. Um, Fucking. So he doesn't try to open it. He just uh, he just um gets him to ground the plane. I think I don't I don't know exactly what I don't. It's been a long time since I've watched that episode, but um, that one's crazy. Yeah, he um. Oh, I wonder how he's gonna do it, Adam Scott. I don't know. I I hope it's like similar, but in a way, it's, it's kind of his own. Yeah, like I don't know. I feel like he could do that. Like kind of like what the fuck. You know, why is anyone looking at this? Like, I can see this happening. And, like, you know, kind of end it with, like, that whole, oh, fuck. He just so the, crazy. So the whole thing it. of the episode is, is I think it's his wife is picking. So the original with William Shatner is his wife picks him up from rehab oh, shit. of some sort. And they're on this flight back to their home, pretty much. And that's whenever he's starting to have this episode but he's like seeing the gremlin on the on the fucking wing of the plane it's gonna look ugly huh probably you know How they gonna do it? i don't know it's gonna be something fucking wicked wicked awesome i wick, wonder what wick, other wick, actors are gonna wick, have wick, 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 wicked awesome it's got uh some guy from the walking dead on it oh, nice. um i don't know this it's just we just have to wait and see i wonder how long they're gonna i wonder if they're gonna make it just a season just a season that's all you do you really think mean. yeah dude I don't know how long are they gonna do this remake this stuff, you know? Maybe I think maybe they'll do a season, see uh, how it turns out. If it turn if if the fans seem to really like it, yeah. I think they'll uh, probably carry it on. Well, you'd have to keep that whole um, initiative of putting familiar great actors in it, you know. I feel like it'd be easier in this day and age because. Um, you know, there's a lot of great actors in there. Exactly. And, and if if it gets enough attention and the attention that they they're trying to seek, then I think that you know the money will be there for you sure. You should want to play in those fucking movies. Exactly. That's I mean, like those shows. That's in Twilight Zone. Because classic exactly. So you know, years. even if you're you know if you're an actor and you get your name tied with Twilight Zone, people like look look at the history of Twilight Zone at all and be like, oh, this person was in. Some um, version of the Twilight Zone, yeah. whether it be the original or the '80s version, mm-hmm. the the 2000s version, or the 2010s version. We we'll just we'll just have to hope it just like stays well. I feel like it won't won't disappoint. I feel yeah, like no. Good cast. Jordan well. Peele's. A, I feel like Jordan Peele is like that was like such a great choice, especially after Get Out came out. You know that just showed. You know. You just didn't look at him as the funny guy. You knew he could just do more. Exactly. Like, he's that smart. Yeah. He was a producer on Black Klansman. I think he was an executive producer for that movie. Spike Lee movie, right? Yeah, and they, Spike Lee just won Best uh, Adaptation for that movie, actually. He won his first Oscar out of, like, I think I think it's, like, I don't know exactly how many years of... Uh, filmmaking. Like, yeah, filmmaking and nominations and stuff. Dang, Spike Lee, finally. Yeah. That movie is supposed to be really good. You, oh, you good. never watched it, did you? I think I watched it. Has, it uh, Kylo else. Ren in it. Yeah, that movie was awesome. I, I really enjoyed that movie. 
Did he also make that phone operator one? Which one? The one about the black man who's on the phone operating, and then he's just trying to get sales or something. No, that was a uh, that was a different person who um, who made that movie. Oh. That's sorry to bother you. Okay. Um, I think I think Spike Lee was a executive producer on that movie. Yeah, yeah. See, that movie is fucking crazy. I haven't seen that one either. No, you should watch that movie. That movie is a fucking trip. He's always making great films. What other Spike? Uh, Do you ever watch Get Shorty? Uh, there's um, there's one with Sam, someone. I think it's Samuel L. Jackson's in it. But uh, it's about it's like a satire film about I forget what country, but it's uh, with black people. Hmm. And it's about in the neighborhoods and everything. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, I want to watch that one. I forget what it's called. It's like called Iraq or something. Fuck if I know, bro. I know that he's got um. He made Get Shorty. That that was a good one. Um, Be Cool was like the sequel to Get Shorty. Do the Hughes brothers still make movies? Who's the Hughes brothers? I'm not. Uh, I believe they're the ones that made um, Menace to Society and Dead Presidents. You know. I've never seen those movies. You've never seen those movies? No. What are those movies about? Who do they star? Uh, you don't know. You don't know what Menace Society is about. It's about like no, yeah. The, it's like it's living in the ghetto. Yeah, no, nah, like, yeah. Just trying to stay alive. Um, who's who's, who's in Menace to Society? Um, I forgot. It's like like someone gets shot what? at a convenience store at the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember I tried watching that movie. I fell asleep whenever I was watching it. Yeah. I fell asleep. I was at someone else's house, and I was just it was late, and we would just put on movies to like kill time. Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure I just fell asleep, and then I woke up, and I was like. All right, man. I'm gonna fucking go home right now, bro. <laughs> you should watch Dead Presidents because that one has to do with a Vietnam veteran. Okay. Yeah, that one's really good. What year do you think that came out? That's like an early 2000s movie, probably like 95, 96, something like that. Early 2000s, 95, 96. Mm-hmm. That sounds early. That sounds like early 2000s. <laughs> late 90s yeah late 90s man mid dude, late 90s you got me like you got me all sorts of fucked up <laughs> now I'm thinking about dates that I don't even know about yeah you're just starting to guess and guess and guess well my guesses are well put and um, you know I try I don't know everything but no I don't to, like I said earlier getting, I don't know shit information Makes you think. Maybe it makes you think so much that you should just go up and look about it yourself. If you're yeah, so just go and look about it yourself. Yeah, I don't know anything. No, we don't know shit about shit. But then shit. who does know anything? Joe, Someone who's Joe knows Rogan. about it? Joe, no, Joe Rogan knows everything. Yeah, he does? Joe Rogan is the smartest man alive. He's the next president. No, he has Joe Jamie. Ro- yeah, he does have Jamie. And guess who I have? Mm-hmm. No one. Yeah, see? I don't have the setup that... Who, who? I don't... First off... We don't even need that. I don't put in the time and effort. Is this like even an opinion? No. No, it's not. This it's is just... Gonna we're going we're gonna to trail off into a bunch of bullshit right now. So just put your bullshit headphones on. And you're going to want to skip forward about 20 minutes right now. No, you don't want to skip 20 minutes. Okay. I truly think... That people don't really know anything. Do you think podcasts are gonna? I mean, like, like you know, you can talk about history and say, you know, this is where they shat, <laughs> and like, this is how they felt about something. But like, what makes you think that they were really like thinking like that? They were shitting right there. You know, you get that right. But were they really thinking? No, they just want someone dead. They really wanted people dead. Mm-hmm. That's all history. History is just a bunch of fucking murderers. Yeah. You heard it here, folks. This is the History Channel. Dude, this what is... conqueror is a murderer? You don't think Julius Caesar's killed a few people he didn't like once in a while? No, I think he had people kill those people for him. You don't think he's ever killed one person? Probably. To get where he was. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm not. Wait, I'm not a fucking historian. Of course not. But you don't think he's killed a person out of the millions that have died? No. I don't know if it's been millions, actually. No. But you know, the I people don't... that have died, you don't think anyone 
Like, he didn't kill anyone. Not even a soldier. You're trying to tell me. I'm not saying his own man. You're, try- you're trying to tell me the pizza pizza guy <laughs> is not a fuck. You're trying to tell me the pizza pizza guy is a murderer. Little yeah. Caesar. Yeah. No, Little Caesar is Julius Caesar's son. The son they never talked about. The son that grew up. And made pizzas. Exactly. He was raised by pizza farmers. <laughs> they would raise... What is pepperoni made out of? Cow? What the fuck is pepperoni? Sausage, dude. Sausage? And what's sausage made out of pig? Pork. Fucking pork. So uh, they would raise cows for the cheese. They would uh, grow tomatoes for their sauce. Wheat for their bread. And they would grow... They would grow pigs. They would grow pigs on the vine. <laughs> and they would... Um, they would, he was a pizza farmer. Little Caesar. Little, uh, little Caesar. Little Caesar. Little Caesar. Grew up on the farm. Yeah. Mm. You know, he was... Um, whenever they gave birth to him, he was. it was a very big secret in Rome at the time. Right? You know, no one... No, I don't know anything about him. Exactly. No, no <laughs> one knew about Little Caesar. <laughs> Little Caesar was pretty much orphaned as a kid. Well, I guess he wasn't so much orphaned because they gave him to... He was, like, adopted pretty much by these pizza farmers. Again, he doesn't know anything. I know everything about the Roman pizza empire. The the Roman pizza empire. If anybody here is from Rome uh, listening to this podcast for some fucking reason, uh, sponsor us. And we'll go to your pizza farm, and we'll tell you how fucking good it is. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. Um, all right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't know what we're talking about. These are the double end rants, and we're just here. We are here to talk about nothing and everything at the same time. We're just people. We're just people living. We're just people living that have access to microphones and recording devices. And what? What? We're going to make pieces of history that in 20 years, if you're from the year, if anybody here is from the year 2035 and you are listening to this podcast, we were all lizards. (laughs) What? I don't know, man. This is the double end rants. Dude, We're... people with bird appendages by 2035. Do you think uh, people in the future will ever, like, look at old... Um... Not if it's destroyed. Well, so say... say sir... I feel like books will always be here. Maybe. What? Well, you think every book can be destroyed in history? No, you're right. So books will probably be the most re- just, some of them will books will be the most up. reliable source of history, mm-hmm. because if DVD players were to somehow get like completely wiped out, then we'd be fucked. Because you know, DVDs would be like they'd find DVDs and be like, oh well, what is this? This is pointless. We don't have a way of. They would just look at it like this. Is, they'd probably look at it like this is just a disc. You know, this is. It's like what is this? This is art. This was just art. Be like, oh, these are beautiful. Imagine, like, in the future, someone like ar- like archaeologists in the future, like undig, like let's let's go with um, a beautiful mind. No, scratch that. Let's go with a blood in, blood out. <laughs> some people, some archaeologists and geologists in the future dig up a copy of Blood in, Blood Out. Oh, okay. And they're just like, what is this? They don't have DVD players, so they don't know what kind of technology this is. Like, well, the world's kind of maybe been restarted or just like this history has been long forgotten. And they're like, what is this? You think they'll keep it? And they just like, look at this piece of history art. It's just blood <laughs> in blood. It's just, it's like a, the disc itself is just like beautiful. It's like, what is this? It's like, we don't know. But then again, you kind of think maybe we'll be so high tech in the future that they'll be like, "Oh, this is a prehistoric technology," and then they're like, "Okay, well, let's go to the let's go to the li- let's go to the library of uh, of the past of uh, past technology." They go to the, this library of past technology, and they're just like, um, "It's like, yeah, we'd like to we'd like to rent to rent a DVD player because we want to see what's on this DVD," and. Um, you know, they watch it and they're like, this is how people really lived, maybe. Because everything's on the internet now. So, you know, you never know. Unless maybe the internet gets wiped out. So then all like 
all the information on the internet ceases to be. Imagine that. So then we're just left with the physical we have. And people in the future start to interpret DVDs as, like, things that actually happened. That'd be crazy, dude. Like, imagine. Imagine <laughs> just, blood like... Blood and blood out happen? Well, that's <laughs> realistic. <laughs> we'll have something a little more far-fetched, like Terminator. Oblivion. They're like... Oblivion? What do you... Oh, like the movie? Yeah. Tom that'd be, Cruise? That'd be crazy. They'd be like, oh, well, this is how it all happened. Whoa, he's... Yankees? They don't even know what the Yankees are. <laughs> 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 that he puts on a, you know, a Dark Side of the Moon. They're like, what the fuck is Dark this? Dark Side of the Moon. They're like, I know this from high school. <laughs> Archaeologists know about. I got a degree in. Um... Dude, imagine being like that actually, and then like you know you find old music, and then only you can listen to the music because you have the technology that's pre that you that, build the prehistoric technology to be able to play this yeah like so these devices. if someone for some reason maybe they find like a record vault to where these records have been perfectly yeah. like you know in the right temperature they're perfectly like saved yeah. throughout time this person comes across it and they bust it open and they're like how do i play it so they probably end up like ruining a fuckload of things just trying to Trying they to probably, if figure out how to play it. You if know? There's a bunch of records somewhere. There's probably going to be a record player somewhere. You just have to find a power source. Right? Maybe we should it. just start doing that. Just start planting pieces of old technology in like these vaults. Well, they probably these like little uh, lockers and just putting them in the ground. You know what I mean? Like save music and books? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be smart. Might as well. You know, just people I'm in the future. Keep every book until I die. I don't know what my family going to do with it until then. Want. What are you gonna have your own Burn library? It. Yeah, would you? I would like to. You know, at one point, I've got a little tiny stack of them. I feel like nowadays, it's like the idea is to have a nice library with books. Not, I don't know. I feel like people our age don't think about books like that. People, certain people our age, but I think the general, the general mass of people our age don't think like, man, it'd be so nice to have this room in my house just filled with various books and stuff it would it'd be fucking awesome you know being able to do that but i also feel like nowadays the new the new libraries of today are like having these big dvd or cd collections and stuff you know well everyone always has cds vhs people some still have those hanging up on the walls you know yeah you know why give those away dude because it's just like, well, this is old shitty picture. I'll you know, play the quality. Christmas story on my VHS whenever I want. Exactly. Yeesh. Hold on, I gotta rewind it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take a minute or two. This is a long film. <laughs> Dude, okay, like fucking. That's where they start to each other. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fucking. There's that, you know, um, fucking Pearl Harbor, the movie with Ben Affleck mm-hmm. and Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. That's like two uh, two VHSs because how long it is. It was really? even it was even two DVDs for how long of it. Did you ever watch that movie? Yeah, I've never seen it. My older brother was like, uh, um, he was before. big on like war films, you know, because you know he's about the military and stuff. But Toon's crazy, Willem Dafoe. Willem <coughs> hits your pen, Dafoe. Yeah, William. W- William. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. Who else is in that movie? Charlie, you know, Charlie I'm Sheen's sort of in that movie. Scientist myself. Have you seen that meme? It's a Spider-Man meme. Willem Dafoe. Yeah. It's, it's stupid funny. Do rags. <laughs> you wear do rags. I wear do rags to sleep. Pro on do. <coughs> Ew, what you do? I do what I do. How do you do? Do you ever feel like uh, books will become extinct? No. People will always make books. Now there's just too much books. Do you think... You don't ever think that, like, maybe um, digital books will take over to the point where people just have these devices where they can read digital no, books? No. Nothing like that. What people if... People always have books. I don't know. I think maybe if they're... If they, I think if they're... Print them on hemp. Yeah, I think that's. I think that would become the first thing. So you know, instead of like paper, we're trying. 
I think at some point in our future, we'll probably see this like time where they have to, um, yeah. where paper where paper starts becoming outlawed, cutting down trees becomes outlawed because it's becoming maybe it's becoming harder to produce trees where, you know, we have less land where these mass trees can live mm-hmm. and stuff. And um, I don't know. I think at, at some point we'll start to see some legislation. Hopefully, you know, before it's too late you know, see this legislation to where we stop cutting down trees. We start trying to find better resources of, uh, paper and stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is that how you feel about it? Mm -hmm. You feel like just wiggling your tongue in in front of the microphone. Like you're trying to, (laughs) like you're trying to put your lips around a penis. Everybody, the double end rants are sponsored by Nicky Valenzuela. He's, uh, he's a, He's a big boy. Dude, come on, man. Don't don't fire me like that. Well, you know, what you know what they say. They say a lot of things and a lot of people tell me a lot of things and everybody everywhere is fucking crazy. This new age of kids growing up are going to be the death of everybody. You know what? Yeah, how do you feel about how how do you feel about today's people? Today's youth? Yeah. That's what I meant. How do you feel about today's youth? And I feel like today's youth have no guidance. Yeah. I feel like they don't. I don't think that like we've had any guidance for about like 50 years. From 50 people. years? So what are you I, saying? It's like what? Back in 1970? Yeah, well, probably even this earlier than to the sixties. I felt like there was more of a involvement with people like trying to like have this whole competitive but self esteem about everything and you know, I had I felt like it had to do with the family and everything. And then I felt like I feel like as we got into the sixties it's kinda like, you know, we should all be thinking for ourselves and communicate with each other and you know build relationships off of that but then after that it kind of like died and i felt like with that dying from this yeah pretty much the 70s to now like there's no guidance with that type of involvement with either your family telling you what's up and what's real yeah and like this is the competitive life but you should have self-esteem and look forward to it and then to you're this independent person, so always look at yourself the most best, and you know, and you know, go with that. You know, there so was, there was these thoughts of thinking to so what you empower the person. So you you think after the after the sixties, it became like like uh, I felt like people didn't want to get in trouble because they didn't want to influence anyone. Yeah. So what you're saying is like after the sixties, people became more selfish and more yeah. to themselves. Yeah, because I felt like there's this involvement and. In, to not get in trouble with uh, being involved with other people because, you know, you saw what happened with the 60s movement and then, like, stuff like Charlie Manson and stuff, you know? Well, there was a, there was a lot of people influencing a lot of minds at the mm-hmm. time because, you know, yes, there, there exactly. was, like, there, you know, a lot of different groups of, mm-hmm. of people that were, uh, you know, just convincing all these people that, you know, like, these thoughts were probably a good way to go by. Exactly, you know? and you know some of it's good and some of it's bad. But like ever since then, I don't feel like there's been an involvement with our culture and other people like that in a long time. Maybe, maybe we're just in the wrong area because you know. No, uh, I don't think well, so. I well, feel like maybe, but maybe you know, it would be more of a mass than just it being of uh, groups. You know, there's like, you know, there's different. You know, there's electronic music people, mm-hmm. and then there's like. Metal people, and yeah. then there's people who listen to rap instead of it all just being this. Yeah, so thing. no, yeah, so what you're saying is everybody's become really segregated yeah. and, and divided into and their own groups. They like to act segregated, you know, like you're not gonna just have a bunch of rappers play at electronic music festival, you know, it's electronic music festival. No, I get it, and that's that's why you have Coachella, yeah. You know, stuff like or that. like any fucking EDM, yeah. festival. but either then, you know, people are going there for specific reasons to be there you know because yeah everybody's got their own reason to go to exactly, places exactly yeah, um but i feel like there's no involvement where it all comes together like it's this one big thing i feel like maybe we all celebrate together yeah celebrating um 
but I do feel like giving these pat like what's going down politically lately, it's definitely kind of drawn more oh. people together. But at the same time, it seems like there's still like this mass population of the youth that's just um not ignorant to everything, but they just um apathetic so it's just like there's these it's just like a, a good amount of this youth is just like i don't care you know it's it's not directly involving me so i feel like you know there's a good um a good amount of people like that and you know it's definitely doesn't seem as in, everybody's not trying to become as like maybe awake i don't want to use that term awake but like uh conscious people are just not being conscious of everything that's going on around them and you know i'm guilty of that you know i don't i choose to ignore certain things that i just feel like ah well it doesn't really bother me yeah. and i think maybe that's part of it today is we we just got so much in front of us going on like there's just so many different well, things there's, there's a bunch of stuff going on in the world you know we have a bunch of natural disasters happen and we have wars happening we have conflicts happening and then there's that whole involvement of how our government's doing and you know people want that to go on but you also have your daily life yeah and so you have to keep all this thinking about it and you know it's up to you to like take the better steps for yourself and for your country or you know not but there's but there was an involvement with people and i feel like with the youth there's not that involvement anywhere yeah, I because th- uh, you know, you're just gonna get older and you're gonna think for yourself, you know. But like, who's really showing the kids like, you know, instead of just giving us all kinds of blue ribbons all the time for participation, you know, who's really letting them know how hard it is? Who's being honest who's with who's these kids? Honest, you know? Exactly, because once you find out, because I've been through it, I'm sure you've been through it. You find out that. You're pretty much, like, poor, and your parents have been, like... Going through some shit. Yeah, providing you stuff and everything. Working their asses Mm -hmm. off for it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think as you become older, you start to... You start to come out of the fantasy, you know? You start to realize that, hey, life's not just a fucking big, great time. And sometimes parents don't want to tell you that. They don't want to talk to their kids about that, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, they just... And then you have all those people who go to college and don't even know what to do in college. Yeah, I think that's like I think it's crazy that some people are just like um I don't know. I th- I think it's wild to be like that a lot of that some not a lot, but I don't know. I don't know the statistics on it, but I feel like a good amount of people go to college and get these degrees and then they are just like, yeah, I just got this degree cuz I wanted it, but like what am I doing? You know, like it was a degree in this place and I have to apply myself really hard. But I'm not going to apply myself really hard at it, you know. I've seen, I've I've known a couple of people that got these degrees in fields, and I was just, and I asked them, I I would ask them, be like, what are you getting your degree? And they'd tell me they're getting their degree in this, and then I'd be like, well, how do the job aspects look in that? Be like, well, not they're like not this good, but I I only did it so I could tell my parents I got this college degree. And it's like, why did you go spend all that time and money? Well, you uh, apparently you had this money to waste mm-hmm. in the fact that. You got this degree. You're probably not going to use this degree. You might. Hopefully you do because if you don't, then that's just a waste of money and your time. Of course. But I'm supposed to get a better job with that degree. Exactly. That's what you're supposed to do with the degree. And I I don't know. I just feel... It's not always guaranteed, but you have to. I feel like a lot of of our people in the youth are doing that shit, you know? Well, they're ignorant, you know? Like, no... No way of communication with what you should do and how you should do it. It's just like, take these steps and you should figure it out. And I'm like, they're probably not going to because no one's telling them the real issue about it, you know? Yeah. It's reality versus, you know, just keeping them away from the reality. Yeah, I always felt like uh, in high school, our uh, counselors were always... Yeah. They weren't the realest people. They they don't they tell you what to do, what steps to take, but you know, they're not going to tell you like, you know, you should do this, you should do this, you should do this. I feel like teachers, if you ask your teacher on like what you should take as the initiative and steps towards a good successful college career and 
you know, some of them will tell you what's uh, what you should do and everything, how to apply yourself. And that's from just asking. But, like, no one's going to tell you this is what it's like and blah, blah, blah. And then probably if they do tell you, you're probably being the asshole not listening. But I never heard a teacher tell me, like, what's really going to be like. Yeah, no, I heard... Um, they just say, do the work. They, um, I remember, like, like all, like, certain... Uh, there would be a certain... It was a certain hour of the day our senior year. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a certain class. So every, like, senior had this class. And then during that class, we'd get taken to a certain room. And uh, the counselors gave us this speech. And they were just, like... They were giving us these statistics about people who don't go to college versus people who go to college and get degrees. But, you know, I feel like when they do that, it's so black and white. It's like they just try and say, if you don't go to college, you're, you're pretty much fucked. You're going to be struggling your whole life. Yeah. And, um, you know, but if you, but if you go to, if you go to college, you get a degree, you're going to find a great job and you're going to, uh, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. But you know, there's even nowadays you know, I, I hear stories of people that have degrees and they're like, they're still working somewhere. Be like, yeah, I'm working two jobs right now, trying to make my way through this in this degree. I'm trying to pay off my fucking college fucking debt that I have and I'm still working at this other place that I've been working at for th since I started college I've never looked at as um, being an electrician as a bad job you know or like a welder you know those people make good money and everything I feel like um, you know um, those fields and everything should be respected more and like be told to like do more because they're always going to be out there like the trade jobs yeah exactly Dude, trade you know? jobs are like fucking amazing i wish i would did trade job like i wanted to be a mechanic that was my first thing to be but i didn't get enough information in my head to like feel confident about you even learning that i just don't think you had enough interest in that cause no i did have enough interest in maybe maybe yeah. because i feel like if you had enough interest in it you would have yeah, yeah i guess because I feel you. because like so with my little brother he um dude that kid was always interested in like trucks he was yeah. always, he was like whenever he was a little kid he's like i want to be a truck driver when i grow up yeah. but then you know he was always interested in trucks and you know he would like take auto shop and wood shop and he would take all these like these trade classes pretty yeah. much like i'm just learning this skill so you know yeah and then he ended up going to college for welding yeah. and you know he just he, he learned to trade but you could like um this you could just see that he wanted to do this so much that he was literally just like Fuck everything else. I'm not gonna. He's like, I'll do what I have to to get where I need to be to do this job. And um, well, yeah. those jobs are good for you. It, yeah, exactly. Those are the jobs that You'll you know. Always have a job. Exactly, because you know some like you always have work. It won't get outdated because mm -hmm. you know you need like people need buildings. Get great money. Exactly. You know, you can have a whole life based on that and then you know have this house and everything and then still go on vacations right if you're smart of course but like i don't know i don't feel like there should be an excuse on why you have it so bad you know if you put yourself through the through the through the glories of being in debt like you know that's your own that's that's you, you know. That's always gonna be just you. Yeah. But I feel like there is a right way where you don't get frivolous, and then it's like this perfect thing, you know. You probably have some debt, but it's not like you know, killing you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're 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 steadily paying it off type of debt. Hopefully, yeah, if you're hopefully, lucky, if yeah. you're smart about it, for yeah. sure. Because you know, there's well, you can always get a loan, dude, and you always have to pay for that loan. You know, imagine just always being able to work on that until you're able to pay it off and you're still doing everything. Well, that'd be good. That's ideal. But, you know, most of the time, you know, not most of the time, I can't I can't say most of the time like I know these statistics. But from what I'm what I'm just led to believe from what little knowledge I have is like the, sometimes people just. I think sometimes it's too easy to take out a loan for school. I feel like if because it's so easy to just be like, nah, never mind. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. I'm going to stop going to school. I just got to pay like like $50,000 in debt for all these classes I took. Never got my degree. I guess 
I guess that's all upon the person, maybe, but... I, w- I, could, I don't know if I could do that to myself. I don't even know what? without thinking about doing Yeah, that. just, like, not going through with what you set out to no, do. No, 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 I'm going to go through with it, but, like, I don't I don't see myself doing that. Like, how is it going to be, like, f- like, how do you get that much in debt? Like, you're telling me I can't just do one class of fucking... Two classes a semester. And you can. That's like the only financially stable. Still, you know, like, you that you can. But exactly. when you when you when you take into account, you kind of think about how much more time you're spending, though, because there are these people that like they go to they go to these these colleges for like these colleges maybe are designed for like two to three years mm-hmm. if you're going like full time all the time, yeah. but. If you're if you're going slow at it, you take a little bit longer. So then you kind of just like, I think that's what you have to take into account. You have to take into account if you're willing to spend a little bit more time taking it easier and maybe obtaining more at a at a well, you're, at an easier pace, yeah. and not overloading yourself the whole time. Well, you're, you know, I just think in the way where, you know, you're probably on your own. I'm not thinking in the way of like, you know, you probably have like some help or something yeah i'm thinking about like fuck like if i do if i give myself any harder time like i'm just gonna be in crippling debt my whole life yeah you know because the plan might not even fall through unless you don't think about that and you do it i don't know if people do that though i think i think some people do some people are (laughs) i think some people just go in you know it's a no some people are clueless with their finances they're just like Okay, and then like maybe they're like, okay, well I got this stable job, I can make these payments of this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a little bit more because I can make these payments. But then maybe something like happens, they fall through that that job fires them, and they're just oh, like they break up their leg, and, and they're just like, bills. well fuck, now I'm fucked. I can't, I'm not getting paid. Mm-hmm. I can't make these payments. What are they gonna do? I'm gonna start getting fucked over by people. They're gonna start coming and taking shit of mine because I don't have money to pay for these. Mm-hmm. It all, it all happens according to their plan. Yeah. I just can't. That's probably Some, not anyone's plan. Well, I hope Crippling not. debt. Yeah, I plan to get in crippling debt and then uh, by my 40s get out of it and then uh, finally get that fucking community college degree <laughs> that I wanted in uh, in design. Oh, In shit. fashion. Fashion that's design. Awesome. That's amazing. I'm glad you came back into this. But, um... But now it's too late, and uh, the government owns everything, and fashion is no more. We all wear jumpsuits, and we all just have numbers. We're all, you know, we don't have names. We're just numbers. <sighs> okay. Okay, what? I'm done. You're done? We're done. We're done. We're, we're done. We're gonna end it we're on. We're gonna end it. We're gonna end we're, it, we're on, gonna that, end it on, that. on that. That stupid ass grim conversation that probably took way too long. You know like, what? I don't regret it, but a lot of it was just ramblings. Yeah, it was. And, it was you know, the double. And I don't appreciate rants. slavery because it is wrong, and we all know that. Yeah, of know? course. It's just a subject matter that you talk about, and it has nothing more to do. With anything than just being a thought. But not any type of thought of prejudice. Because who the fuck would want to be a fucking slave? No. Not even the richest person on the planet. No matter how good they want to. They don't even want to be a slave. You think a little kid wants to be working at seven? No. Never. Well, no one wants to be a slave. But some people probably want slaves. Who wants to be that kid who's just like fucking... Being a slave, I've been a slave my whole life. No, no. If you I'm, believe slavery, not even if you get kidnapped. If you believe slavery was right, go fucking. Not even if you shoot get yourself in the fucking in a different country leg. And you know, you become a pole dancer because someone enslaved you. Your pimp enslaved you. This has gone far too out of hand. We are rambling and ranting on stupid shit. I'm just shit. saying, ideas, these are just all the, even if some of them aren't factual, at least give yourself a thought and know that you try to learn something because you're like, hey, these two guys, they're not that bad. But I think a lot of the shit they're saying is kind of bullshit. 
All right, if you if you stuck around and listened to this whole fucking podcast, then thank you for listening to the N Lopez podcast. This was the Double N Rant number two, and thanks for sticking around and listening to all of this stupid ass conversation. Just rem- just remember, we don't know everything. We don't know anything. And thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time on the N Lopez podcast. St- Stick a stick a stick around uh, for uh, maybe next time you'll hear another double N rant. I fucked up, but uh, that's it. We're done. Hey, Christopher Hitchens, let it all go down. Christopher Hitchens. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that part out of it because you sounded fucking dumb. All right, okay. thanks everybody for listening. We don't have any sponsors because. We're just starting, and we're we we're terrible. We're gonna we're gonna. They will never allow us to be played anywhere. All right, thanks everybody. All right, yeah.